ABC 36 Sports is Solid Blue. Brought to you by Kentucky's Powerball and Mega Millions. Why choose? Play both. The Kentucky Wildcats are in Texas getting ready to take on the Connecticut Huskies in a Final Four showdown Saturday night. If the Cats can win and Butler beats Virginia, two Kentucky natives and friends would face off in the national championship game. ABC 36 Sports Director Ken Spencer is live in Houston to explain. Ken? Yeah, Jackie, Darius Miller and Shelvin Mack are very good friends. In fact, I had a chance to catch up with these two this past summer. I would love to play down on a collegiate level. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, you know, seeing this year, they, they, they didn't get the, we was waiting for them. They didn't get there this year, man. <laughs> what a small world it is because nine months later, Mac and Miller are on the biggest stage of them all together. We grown really close. Uh, he's one of my best friends. He's like a brother. So I mean, uh, matter of fact, I seen him yesterday. It's just nice to have a friend like him around, especially to be able to experience something like this with him. Darius Miller and Shelvin Mack first met back in middle school, playing AAU basketball together. When I first met him, he's like a weird looking, uh, a weird kind of dude. Uh, you know, he's real quiet. Uh, really doesn't talk. He talked a lot, um, uh, pretty much all the time. So I, I didn't really have to do a lot of talking. They've been great friends ever since. It's just been great, you know, uh, especially for us too. You know, we had he uh, had some rough times early on at Kentucky. You know, I had some rough times in high school. Just, uh, just you know, you keep working hard, you come to a stage like this. If both teams take care of business, these friends will meet with a national championship on the line. I definitely thought about that. And uh, I mean, that would be a great experience. Like I said, just to share this experience right here with them is exciting and really fun. So I mean, if that if that was to happen, I mean, it would, it would be great. Let the trash talk begin. A little bit, you know, um, my two years, I still finished ahead of him both years. So I'm trying to, trying to keep that alive. <laughs> That's always though. That's every single day. It has been the whole year. So I mean, I expect to hear a lot more from them, especially if they win on Saturday, you know, if they make it to the championship again. I say I have the advantage, you know, um, I always beat them in everything. And another interesting note, during the summer when Shelvin is back in Lexington, back home, he actually works out with Darius and the Cats. Reporting live in Houston, Texas, outside Reliant Stadium, Ken Spencer, ABC 36, your local news source. Hopefully we get to see that matchup. Thanks, Kent. Well, UConn hasn't lost a game in postseason play this year. The Huskies won the Big East tournament title, and they're headed to the NCAA Final Four. So what's their secret to winning? We, we all know that it's, it's one game and, you know, you're done. Um, and, you know, no one you know, wants to finish early. You know, everybody wants to, you know, finish out the season the right way. So um, that's been our mindset, you know, going into every tournament. And you know, that's our mindset now. You know, we want to win, we want to win the whole thing. And Cats fans have a chance to help grant the wishes of local kids with cancer by purchasing one of these Kentucky Wildcats Final Four basketballs. Nyko Sports is partnering with the Make-A-Wish Foundation of Greater Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana to make 5,000 of these limited edition basketballs. They're $99 each with a portion of the proceeds going to local Make-A-Wish kids. You can call the number on your screen or visit our website for more information. Several future Cats took part in the McDonald's All-American game late last night. Kentucky signee Michael Gilchrist helped lead his East team to a 111-96 win over the West. Gilchrist finished with a double-double, 16 points and 12 boards, which helped him earn the co-MVP title. Other future Cats included Kyle Wilcher, who had 11 points, Anthony Davis, who finished with 14 points and 6 boards, and Marcus Teague, who had 9 points and 3 assists in the game. The defending NL Central champion Cincinnati Reds opened their season today against the Milwaukee Brewers. The Reds honored the late former manager Sparky Anderson before today's game. And Edinson Volquez taking the mound for Cincinnati and it was a rough start for the Reds. But the rally caps were on as Cincinnati tried to come back in the bottom of the ninth. Brewers up 6-3, to three, bases loaded for Johnny Gomes. He hits this fly to straightaway center to bring home Brandon Phillips. It's 6-4 Reds, so there's two on with two out in the bottom of the ninth with Ramon Hernandez at the plate. Can he pull off the comeback for Cincinnati? Oh my good night. Hernandez with the three-run walk-off home run and the Reds rally over the Brewers 7-6. Logan Andrusik gets the win for Cincinnati. John Axford